Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So in the video today, I uh, I've been getting a lot of questions, people asking me sort of uh, what's the difference between this size pen and that size pen, and I thought well maybe I, I can sort of try and show a bit of a difference of some uh, some of the the varied pens I have in my collection. Uh, some of these you may know of already, uh, you may even have and. And others uh, may not be. Uh, they're more sort of growl pens, and uh, maybe you don't own those in your collection just yet. Maybe you do even. Who knows? But uh, so so here's a a nice selection of pens at the moment. So I thought I would start off with the um, Platinum Thirty Seven Seventy Six, and this is uh, sort of a a very lightweight uh, gold nib pen, and um, I, I thought sort of that that would be a very good pen to actually sort of show in comparison to some of the others so this is a pen that a lot of people tend to have um, sometimes as their first gold nib pen um, a lot of people will have a Twisby this is a Twisby Diamond 580 AL and you can see there it's uh, I just cleaned this one out um, and uh, that's a, a piston filling pen so you, know, you can see the if I uh, move the piston back and forth, you can see there a little bit of inky water still left in there. Um, and then you have its smaller brother, which is the Twisby Mini, or Twisby Mini AL. So this is a really tiny pen, and I wanted to get this one because it, ha because it was gold, um, and uh, gold trim. Uh, or gold finishing in the the section and the piston and that but I do find that this is rather too small for me um, now I do know that you are supposed to cap them um, that is the idea and to be honest that actually turns it into a slightly more sort of usable pen so if I try to do that it sort of brings it back to the Twisby 580 Diamond 580 size, but I'm not a particular um, person that, that likes to to cap or post their pens. So um, for me, it's not like it's handy to do, but um, I tend not to do it that often. Only if the pen is really small, and as you can see, that is very small in comparison to the 580. So. Um, that's one of the smallest pens that I probably have in my collection uh, to date. Um, that and maybe an Edison Perlet, which is probably just a smidgen longer than that. Then you have the um, uh, Pelican M800s, which um, are some consider an oversized pen, some do not. Um, uh, and then you have the M1000, which is definitely oversized. Uh, then you have uh, a Visconti here. This is the Visconti Medici. And um, that uh, is really the same size as a, a Homo Sapiens. Uh, this is the London Fog here. So as you can see, if I move these around, they are pretty much the same same length. Um, so in in terms like th that, it's... Like, you, I would say the the London Fogs or, or the Homo Sapiens in general are normally considered oversized pens. So uh, the Medici, I would say, is an oversized. The Pelican M1000 is an oversized. Pelican M800, maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I guess it really depends on uh, what you would uh, class the oversized as being. Um, but it's it's not far off it. Um, but I'll show you just going back to the Pelican. M800 and the M1000. I'll show you not only the the difference in terms of um, width of the body, but also the nibs as well. Like you can see, there's a huge, huge difference there in terms of nibs. So the Pelican M800 on the right here, that has a number six size nib and the Pelican M1000 is, uh, I think, a number eight size nib, so uh, it's a lot larger and also a lot more springier or bouncy uh, when you uh, try to write with it. 
Uh, the Viscontis come with a number six size nib as well, so I guess really similar. If I just re uncap that, similar to that of the Pelican M800, like you're really not going to see a lot of difference there. Um, and the London Fog, uh, Homo sapiens tend to be that uh, they have the same number six size nib. Then you start getting into the sort of almost double oversized or more oversized so this is an opera master here and you can see again sort of there's a step up here from the pelican m800 to the m1000 but then another big step even bigger step from a homo sapiens to an opera master and uh, you can see in terms of uh, let's see if i can show you here so it was quite a large difference there in terms of, of the, uh, the the pen length, um, I have to be careful because these are inked. Um, but uh, if I remove these caps, you'll also see the difference there in terms of the height of the pen or the length of the pen. So they are quite different. So uh, again, same size nib though. Um, you can see there. So. It's uh, it's just again really the length and and weight of the pen and also the opera masters uh, kind of faceted more so, um, so you have that going for it as well. Should I put that one there? And then uh, uh, I know uh, other people have asked me sort of what's the difference between, say, the Homo sapiens and the Conway Stewarts or or even the opera masters and the Conway Stewarts. So again you can see here really there's not a lot of difference in terms of uh, overall size um it's uh really about about the same so um it, it's really not a lot of difference there um and i guess if we uncap them as well now that's where you do see a bit of a difference so if i can maybe put them in here and you'll see there you go. Now that's quite a difference. Um, again, same sort of number six style nib. Um, they both use Bok nibs, um, but uh, again, it's sort of in terms of the body itself, it's another step. I, I would say almost like a, a step between a, a Homo sapiens or a, a Medici here to to the Opera Master in terms of section wise. A little bit more girthier as well. Um, so uh, yeah, there's uh, quite a bit of difference there, and then um, let's just cap that, and then you have, I guess the the behemoth. Which if I just move these around a little bit, you can see the size difference. The Opera Master is a large, large pen for sure, and then you have the Armando Simone Club Bologna extra extra being it's bigger in size and not only in terms of girth like you can see that even there is a little bit of a difference in girth but this pen is absolutely massive and <laughs> i will show you against the twisby nib the nib size difference here so that's the nib size difference it's a huge nib uh even i guess compared to uh the m1 m1000 has a large nib as well so it's going to be similar in size to the m1000 so really it's a number eight size nib um but so if i just move this out of the way and i'll show you here put these side by side that's the difference the m1000 is a massive pen oversized pen but look at this bologna it's just amazing the um the size of this pen so uh yeah it's um a very very oversized pen so um in that in mind um and even the, I guess the M1000 compared to the Conway Stewart, it's uh, 
Conway Stewart is still slightly larger in length, and um, likewise, it's uh, even girthier in in, in width. So, um, yeah, so I just really wanted to show off uh, a video here so that people could kind of see the difference. So, if you're looking at a Homo sapiens, for instance, um, then you're going to be looking at the London Fog size here or the Medici size. They're going to be pretty much the same. The Opera Master slightly larger uh, and then obviously you've got your two pelicans here um, and then if you're looking at a um, a midi sized pen for instance I'll show you the difference here is a Davina Metropolitan so you can see how like that it's not far off in terms of size of the M800 uh, but it is classed as a midi or, or medium sized pen and uh, I guess I can show you that here as well. That um, in terms of size, like it has a number five nib, not a number six nib, but it's not that far off of a Pelican M800 in terms of girth and and in terms of length. It's just really the nib size more than anything. So a lot of people actually do like the uh, midi size of the um, Visconti. Uh, however, though, uh, I should actually tell you that um, Visconti, as of, I believe, January 2018, have now stopped producing MIDI versions of pens. Uh, so if you want a MIDI version, go and get one quick, because what stock is out there is the last remaining stock. Uh, so that's, again, something to bear in mind. If, if you really on your wish pen wish list if you really have some midi pens uh that, that you really want to get hold of then uh i would try and bump them to the top of your wish list because they are not going to be around forever and uh it may still take a year or two to sell out of, of every single pen but um certainly the more common ones like the Davina metropolitan and that will probably disappear i would say quite quickly Maybe the Midi Medici's, uh, not so quickly perhaps, um, but uh, I would definitely pick one up if if you want to pick pick up a, a Midi version of a pen. Some people don't like the oversized, some people do like smaller pens, and uh, personally, me personally, I prefer the oversized pen. Uh, like I prefer like the London Fog. Uh, it for me, it's just uncapped. It's the right size uh, of pen. Um, the the Bologna though is is a little bit unwieldy. Um, like it's a lovely pen. <laughs> you can see I have small hands or smallish hands. Um, they're not large hands by any stretch, and um, that is a large pen. And then if I were to to try and post that as well. That is just absolutely insane. Um, so, <laughs> I just wanted to show you posting a Bologna that, um, yeah, that's uh, one heck of a pen. So, um, it really, again, depends on what you like. Um, like you might like the, the MIDI versions, you might like the oversize. As I said, I like the oversize more than the MIDI. Um, but uh, I will pick up a MIDI now and again if, if I can. So um, and likewise, I picked up the Mini AL because I liked the, the look of it. Um, but uh, anyway, I thought I would just show off a selection, a varied selection of pens there. So you could sort of really get to see the different sizes of pens. So if uh, you have a pen that you have here and also a, a pen on your wish list that you're thinking of, at least then you can kind of gauge the difference between the sizes of pens. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye bye.